Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Rangers, and I'm here to talk about Game 81 of the regular season where the Rangers lose 3-2 in the shootout to the Buffalo Sabres. But, and this is a very important but, the Rangers win the most important game, which is the stay healthy and don't be injured game. Kind of. Ryan Lingard would take a puck to the face in the overtime and would leave the bench for a minute and i was about to make a ranty video of like well there you go it's over with the heart and soul of the team is over with i don't know why i've turned into the floppy guy and in front of a car wash but the season's over just call it a wash right now thankfully he came back out before overtime was even over with i do think it is really funny and don't get me wrong i really like ryan lingrid very important player to this team super important for the morale because the players watch a guy like him go out there, giving it 110% on any game, whether it is Game 7 of a playoff series or, like, Game 7 in the middle of November, and he is going just full throttle. And that is a total boost for everyone else. And I absolutely love him, but seeing him come back out for the shootout was like, no, buddy, we don't, you don't need to come out for this. You're, you're not going to... Buddy, I we love you. We love you. You're not getting a shot in the shootout <laughs> unless it gets to like the 18th round. You're not gonna. You're not gonna go out there. This isn't. This isn't for you. Um, but he still. He came out there as a show of he was alive, and that was a very nice thing to see. That was a positive. No one else got injured. Uh, Patrick Kane was back. That was good to see. While up until tonight it was still mathematically possible for the Rangers to win the division, the past few games tonight being no exception have been meaningless. They have been games that you simply have to play if you're the New York Rangers. And again, I've maintained I'm okay with that. But when you look this unengaged and unexcited about the last like two weeks of games, you better roll into the playoffs just, I mean, kicking ass. Because otherwise, I think a lot of people are going to be upset and kind of point the finger of like, ah, so you got in the mindset of not trying and then look where that got you, which would be kind of warranted i'm still in the camp of like hey that's fine but you gotta actually do something when you get to the old yoffs which is very fast approaching and the things that the rangers did tonight that were solid i think can transfer over uh i really liked panera with the shoot first mentality that was super good he scored a couple of buttes tonight i want to say the first one was a ridiculous snipe if i'm not mistaken off of a zabanajad feed that was super nice. Both Artemi Panarin and Mika Zibanejad got 90 points tonight. That's awesome. Uh, career high in points for Mika Zibanejad. Hopefully he can get a goal in that Toronto game and hit 40 goals, 90 points. That'd be a awesome milestone for Mika Zibanejad to hit in the same week. Uh, Artemi Panarin hitting 90 again. 90 points in all three not micro seasons. Even though the first season was cut short due to COVID anyway, he still hit over 90. In the seasons where there's been more than 60 games total played, Panarin has scored over 90 points for the New York Rangers. Tell me again that that guy is an anchor to this team. I will not hear it. He, he had the shoot first mentality all night. That was very good to see. Second goal was a just laser beam slap shot. Uh, Arsene Panarin was the only Ranger that could be, the only Ranger that could beat Devin Levi tonight. Who, by the way, I know I said it in the last game, and I'll reiterate it again. That dude is going to be insane. That, and like, I don't love saying it. That's a lie. I love saying it ironically. But I don't say it that much being serious. He genuinely just has that dog in him. Like, Devin Levi is going to be a ridiculous player for a long time to come in this league. And tonight, back against the wall, I believe the Sabres facing a lose and you are officially eliminated game. And he looked great. 26-28 uh, in regulation and overtime. And four for one in the shootout, or five, four or five in the shootout. That kid looks really good. Sabres fans have so much to be excited for. I really hope, and I know it's just virtually impossible from the math of it all, but God, I would love to see the Sabres sneak into a playoff spot this year. That would be awesome to see. Uh, the problems with the Rangers are what they always have been. Weak defense in front. The first one specifically was pretty terrible. I want to say it was Trocek that just completely missed his man, lets him walk right up to the blue paint and score a goal. I thought Shesterkin, and this is another thing on the whole, things that looked good heading into the playoffs, Shesterkin had another gem. Uh, 37 of 39. I want to say like nearly 
two goals stopped above expected, 1.79. Shesterkin looked great, man. He looks fantastic. He has been... He has found his Vezina form as of late. And heading into the playoffs, that bodes very, very well for the New York Rangers. There are positives from it, but these games, the Rangers are treating as meaningless. And I don't have a lot to say outside of that. Now, the positive is you are very, very close. You're on the cusp of it. You only have one more last day of school before, oh boy, you're going to medical school. The Rangers will play the Toronto Maple Leafs on Thursday in Madison Square Garden for the regular season finale. And I say regular season because they still have a lot more work to do before this season is over with. 7 p.m. Eastern. I will be here afterwards to talk about it. I will be here tomorrow with a podcast, not on this channel, but on the other channel, the Rangers Game Plan Podcast channel, with my good friend Evan to discuss possibly the playoff preview. I don't know, man. Somehow the Devils still haven't locked up where they actually are, the Devils in the Hurricanes, so... That was going to be the whole premise of it because surely by game 81, the playoff seed would be locked in, we said. Thank you, Devils and Carolina Hurricanes, for that. But that is all I have to say for the evening. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to like and subscribe. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day, and as always, go Rangers.